The Rifleman. Starring Chuck Connors. at the ranch? Sure did. Everything's locked up and all the animals are fed. Good. Any homework to do? Well, a little bit of arithmetic. Well, why don't you go over to Mike's office and finish up? Then I'll buy us both dinner at the hotel. <sighs> yes, sir. Say, Pa, are we going to be staying in town the whole two weeks that Mike is gone? Yeah, as long as I'm doing his job for him. Why? Nothing, just that uh, that way we get to eat at the hotel and I don't have any dishes to wash. <laughs> go on. See you later. Sorry, we're just closing. Oh, doggone. Uh, well, can't you stay open a minute? I just got into town. Well, what is it you want? Well, I got some money here in my pocket, and, uh... You want to make a deposit? Uh, yeah, that's right. See, I figure on uh, staying around these parts and maybe getting myself a job and going to work, and... <laughs> well, I'd just like to know that what I got is safe. You know what I mean? Otherwise, I'm liable to go out there and spend it or even lose it, maybe. Well, my clerk just left. Well, a banker can't very well turn down taking money, can he? <laughs> Come in. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Well, I really appreciate this. I said I appreciate it. Now you're going to find out how much. Is that all? Isn't it enough? Practically the entire cash assets of this institution. Yeah? Well, I guess it's enough then. Come on, follow me. Listen to me. You're gonna raise up this window shade. When I'm leaving here, you're gonna smile and wave at me like I was an old friend you're saying goodbye to. Now, you don't do like I tell you. I'll put a bullet through that window, right into you. You understand me? Hi. All right. Now, you lift it up, and you smile. 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 It's a real beauty. Now you stay just like that. Carry him over to the docks, please. Seems just like an ordinary trail hand, Lucas. Fool me completely. Pay out your receipt, that's all. From where? Barhorn Ranch outside Salinas, Rudy Gray. Can you imagine a loner like that holding up my bank? You better get that money back to the bank, John. Oh, yeah. Mark, will you take care of the horse, son? Ask Mills to put him up. All right, boy. Shut the door, Lucas.
What do you think, Doc? Can't say. If you don't hemorrhage or he ain't moved, you might have a chance. But I doubt it. But he can't keep him here. Who says? He's gonna need a lot of attention. I got a room back there. You move him to jail or any place else, you're gonna have a dead man on your hands for sure. My job is to save lives, and I say he stays right here. He certainly can't get up and walk away, Lucas. All right, but keep me posted. If he starts talking, I want to know about it. I'll be in the telegraph office. got himself shot down to New Mexico territory, a place called uh, North Fork, uh, trying to rob another bank. Oh, that darn fool. Let me see. And all the time, they've been looking for him up around here. $2,000. If the sheriff had known Gray was going to get it so quick, he could have saved the taxpayers some money instead of paying it out to them folks down there. Yeah. Well, you didn't read this too good. Uh, what do you mean? Well, looky here. It says, a uh, man tentatively identified as Rudy Gray caught and shot during North Fork Bank holdup identification places in Barhorn Ranch, your area. Gray unconscious, not expected to live. Please advise McCain, Deputy so, Marshal. So? So? Well, don't you see? The way this reads, they don't even know who he is. Well, the sheriff will sure let him know when I give him that. <laughs> Would you please go over there and sit down and behave yourself? Oh, let's see, two weeks. Two weeks ago, he was working at the bar horn until he killed that bank clerk, trying to get off of the payroll. Well, the sheriff, he didn't send in those wanted posters to the federal marshal's office in Denver until... couldn't be more than three days ago. Yeah, that's right. Them posters, they... They must not have got him in North Fork yet. It kind of looks that way, don't it? If this McCain fella knew who Rudy was, I mean, if he had a poster or something, he wouldn't be saying, here, please advise. He'd be yelling for his money, wouldn't he? The Denver Marshal sends him out by stage. Uh, let's see. North, North, North Fork. Here it is. The Denver stage isn't due through there till, uh, let's see, once a month. Uh, Next Friday. They couldn't have them posters yet. And they can't know about it. See, North Fork, that's so oh, about a two-day ride. I could be down there by Thursday at the latest, pick up old Rudy. I could be out of that town before this McCain even knew he was wanted. Sure. And then he'd get them posters on Friday, and he'd be wiring up here after you first thing. And you get the wire, and you forget to turn it over to the sheriff, just the way you're going to forget to turn this one over to him, and you and I'd be gone before anybody knew the difference. I don't know, Foley. Oh, come on, Tom. It says right there on the poster, doesn't it? Wanted, dead, or alive. Look at here. Uh, gray, unconscious, not expected to live. And we could kind of use a thousand dollars a piece, now, couldn't we? Can you get away with it? You gotta make out to be somebody else, you know. Oh, yeah, that's... That's easy enough. That's no problem. Simplest thing in the world. I think. I'll bet you $2,000 I can do it. How's that? <laughs> How's he doing? Uh, fever's getting to him. Burning up one minute, cold and soaking wet the next. Any chance? Mm, day, maybe two. Nothing more I can do. Doc, you, uh... You couldn't make that three days, could you? Huh? And the sheriff and Salinas. Rudy Gray, local family. Do everything possible. Brother arriving by Thursday. I don't know, Lucas. I don't know. 
Do what you can. Deputy Badge, would you be McCain? That's right. My name is Gray, Tom Gray. I just come in from Salinas. Oh, Mr. Gray. My uh, brother, Rudy, where is he? He's at the doc's office. Is he still alive? He's still alive. Well, I come as fast as I could, but there's not much hope, Mr. Gray. I'd like to see him. I'm sorry, Mr. Gray. I did everything I could. But he never regained consciousness. You mean he's gone? No. Not yet, but... Well, I want to see him. He's in there. I'd like to see him alone for a minute, if you don't mind. Breathing. I'm sorry. It was just luck that he lasted this long. He just quit. your family. I can wire Salinas. No, no. Don't do that. It's all over, isn't it? There ain't nothing more you can do to him now. He robbed your bank, and he paid for it, and that's the end of it. That's true, isn't it? I suppose so. Well, I just want to... Take him home as quietly as I can. Be a whole lot easier on the folks. They're kind of old and be a lot easier on them if I can do it my way and instead of just sending some kind of cold telegram. All right. A blacksmith will have to make a box. And tomorrow, you can take your brother home on the Denver stage. On the stage? It's due in in the morning. Goes back by way of Salinas. Mm. Something wrong, Mr. Gray? 
Well, no, nothing wrong. Uh, I, I just, I don't want to take him on the stage, that's all. All them people shooting their mouths off and being sympathetic. I don't need that. Well, nobody on the stage has to know. Couldn't I just do it my way? Just him and me. I'll buy a wagon. There's no law against that, is there? Having a little privacy? No, no law. I guess you're entitled to that much. Thank you. Doc, uh, you uh, keep him here? The undertaker just up the street. Oh. Well, I'll tend to that and uh, see about getting a wagon. Doc, I don't know how to thank you. If you'll just tell me how much I owe you. It's all right, Mr. Gray. I'm sorry I couldn't do more. There's no charge. It's kind of you, Doc. Awfully kind, and I thank you for it. What's the matter? Hmm? Oh, nothing, Doc. I'll see you later. Are you going to be going to bed? In a while. How's the homework? All finished. Well, you'd better get ready for bed, too. That hammering and sawing Nils is doing, when you know what it's for, it, well, it, it just doesn't sound the same as when you're fixing a fence or something like that. No, it doesn't, son. Well, I'm going to have another look around town. I'll be back in a few minutes. You better go get your books. All right. Yeah, he did. Nice little buckboard. Nels? Oh, howdy, Lucas. Mr. Gray? Are you about finished? Yeah, just a little sand and she'll be all done. Well, it's fine. That's, uh, that's fine. Nice wood. Who'd he be proud? Well, I got the buckboard out back, and as soon as I finish, I'll load her up, and all we got to do in the morning is uh, take her around and get your brother. Uh, I, I don't know what the cost is, but... Uh, I don't like to charge for... Uh, well, it'll just be $3 for the material. Holy gee. You folks been awful good to me. I'm just terribly sorry that you had to get mixed up in it at all. Well, it's been a long day. I'm awfully tired, I don't mind telling you. Tomorrow we'll, uh... Well, tomorrow will be here soon enough. I guess I'll go turn in. I want to thank you, Nelson. 
Good night, Mr. Gray. Good night, Mr. McCain. Nice fella. Sure is taking it hard. Yeah, I guess he is. Good night, Nils. Good night, Lucas. Mr. McCain. That's right. Take your hand away from that gun. You sure gave me a turn coming out of the shadows that way. I was just, uh... Well, I just wanted to see if my brother was all right. You, know, you wanted to get that body out of here before the Denver stage arrives in the morning. That's what you wanted, bounty hunter. Bounty hunter? I don't know what you're talking about, Mr. McCain. Rudy Gray is my brother. I wired the Denver Marshal. Rudy Gray has no family. All he's got is a price in his head. Selena's for. He arrested that clerk that was working with Mr. Foley. Good. You have to write out another report? Mm, that's the worst part of taking over for Micah. Every time you get a job done, you've got to write a long letter to the marshal in Denver telling them all about it. When I attempted to pick up the bounty hunter, when I attempted to, to stop... Paul. Apprehend. Apprehend. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> 